The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technician Hour. My pleasure to be here on this 13th, that was Friday the 13th. Never even thought of it. Friday the 13th. Um, uh, maybe that's why I'm not getting my, my video right. Uh, but anyway, we're all here and everything looking uh, good. Dow's down 12 at uh, 28,119 the dollar i've got this showing right now the dollar is really it hit a critical level look at the weekly chart this red line this long term support line let me put it over look all the way from the first uh that's the so that was january the week of the 11th and we've had a trend line that just held fantastic. It held again. There's a potential W formation in the in the weekly uh, stochastic. It's at 35 percent. But if it keeps going down with the MACD deflecting lower, that dollar is going to go lower. Maybe that's what the Fed wants. Anyway, um, if they do that, it's for the multinationals. I happen to think that a stronger dollar is one of the better things. Um, a strong currency usually reflects on the economy of that particular country and i think that we should be doing very well so in the meantime back at the ranch as they say here we go uh, i got a couple of questions that i haven't dealt with over the last two days that i got i didn't uh, see them till late um well, let me just show you that gold is running quite nicely here up eight but well, now it's up seven at 1479, but it's still within this. It made a peak D. If there's no new high today, it's made a daily peak D. And that suggests that the rectangle now has changed. Let me get rid of this one. Um, yeah, let me just get rid of this one. We're done with that. Start a new one. Got a rectangle formation now, and it's kind of in the right here. So it's kind of in the 14. I'm going to be a little bit liberal here. I'm going to call it, so 1460 to uh, 1482, somewhere around there. And the price has been stuck here since, uh, well, most of November. If you look at the weekly chart, this is really not very much. In fact, if the candle closes where it is now, the weekly chart will suggest that there's, there's, that there's a possibility with the weak MACD and the stochastic flat at 15% that gold doesn't actually go very much higher. It just stays down here. If it does take out the 1450 to 1448 level, that suggests that gold is not going to be participating and that this whole thing with the tariffs and all uh, isn't going to impact gold just at the moment positively. And that's very interesting because the dollar, they don't have an absolute correlation. It's seldom that they go in unison in the direction. But right now, the dollar is down 26 uh, cents at 97.14. It went to a low this morning of 96.72. And as I say, that 96.72 started to close in the 96.30s. And that's taking out key support in the weekly chart key support in the monthly chart underneath the 14 period moving average it hasn't done that uh, since it broke out way back in 2018 uh, let's see that was back in may remember we were positive the dollar um, that was the lowest in march of 88.25 but at 90 we went long the dollar i think that that was a, the 6th of april i believe it was 2018 gone in a monthly chart all the way to a leg d remember we talk about sequences the short term trading uh, f uh, time frame goes to the longer time frame of the weekly if the weekly succeeds it can start to go to the monthly if the monthly is looking good that's really a big positive longer term it takes a long time to do that it's taken from february of 2018 all the way to three months ago for leg D and up until last month to make a peak D. Uh, it's a long time in a monthly chart. We've seen some charts do it very quickly, uh, get to a, a leg C or leg. Even this one here, look, INDU, uh, this is the Dow. It's fairly quick. In one year, we've gone to a leg D from the low that was made. Imagine this time last year how terrible December was. 
going down to the 21,712 level. And now we've gone peak A, one, one, one month rest. Leg B goes for uh, uh, one month and then starts leg C. That go, goes to a leg C uh, three months after your peak B. And then you've got three months of consolidation and it goes to leg D. That's really quick timing to go to a D. But look at this. What's really interesting is that the S&P is only in leg B. And the QQQ and the S&P right now is unchanged at 31.68, having gone to an all-time high of 31.82.68. Um, technicals are actually quite good. So let's go to the QQQ and the X100. That's trading at a new all-time high, 207.26. The high today was 207.91, up 73 cents. Leg D in the weekly, only a leg C in the monthly. And that's suggesting that in 2020, we are going to go to all-time highs. So uh, with that said, we're going to look at um, the Euro, EURUSD. And the Euro right now had a huge move to the upside. It hit 1.11997. Oh, I can't stand those numbers. The six numbers I'm shouting out there, five digits. 1.11997. I could get even more, I guess. Seven, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. How do you remember all that? Uh, anyway, so um, it went above the 200 period moving average opened a fraction above it. Now it's way below it, 1.112, down 0.0011. And that's, uh, that's leg B in the weekly chart, but not great technicals. Uh, and, and the monthly chart hit the 14 period moving average, and now it's under it, doesn't look too good. And if you look at the USD JPY, it should be pulling back a bit. This is the yen. Yep, it, may, it, didn't, it just missed making a double top at the peak D. It's at 109.26, down 0.03, and it is a leg D, probably a peak D, weekly at the 200 period moving average. That's been our target. That's been the magnet line. Remember, I talk about magnet lines. They're really important. And a question, Basil, what do you think about setup in FCG? Oh, quickly got a question here. FCG is uh, first national, oh, first trust natural gas. ETF. Oh, natural gas ETF. What do I think about it? The monthly chart has a green candle at a low. Uh, a low that FCG trading right now, 1095 down 34. This is a stock that was once at 120. Was that a round number high? 120.60 was the high in June of 2014. I can keep going back. Huh. So 124, round number high. Uh, has a little, a little, a little pullback. It goes down to, um, let's see, mm, yeah, it goes down to $9.86. Oh, I'd say that a 91% uh, decline is, well, it's kind of serious. Okay, this is the first, ah, man, it keeps going to a peak B and then failing or peak A. Oh, this one went all the way to a D, A, B, C, D, and then it had a full, um, Eiffel Tower, uppercase A pattern, straight up, straight down, pull back. You know what? Let me let me take it during the break. I have to do two things. I have to see if I can figure out how I can get the picture back, and um, I will do a little work on the FCG chart. Uh, it, it looks short term, good, but it, it looks like it's in a trading band, the rectangle formation. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down nine, SB's down one and a half. Dow's a chap and Tiger Conditions Hour on this Friday, the 13th. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, everyone. So we're looking at uh, FCG. I don't know. I, I, I think it's trying to form a base. There's no question about it, but it keeps making lower lows. So the way I would do this at 10.99 right now, and I know that you look at these things longer term, I'm going to suggest that the MACD is improved. It has improved. And the stochastic has a chance for the first time of holding the 89%, holding this flat. So this is the first time that I can say, if you're prepared at 10.98, just to give it, if it's your starter position, take a smaller position, make a wider stop. I'd even have to make the stop. I prefer not to. I'd prefer to go for the 10.78 uh, nine period moving average. But I'm going to say in this particular instance, take a smaller position and make 10.69 the stop. It's not a big deal. It's 30, 30 cents, uh, it's less than 3 percent. But the reason why I'm saying this is that at every peak A, it's had a bit of, quite a bit of a pullback, and here it is at a potential peak A today. If this time it holds steady, there's a really good chance by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, it's suddenly trading in the 11.46 area. If it goes to the leg B, Bs have failed before, but not when the stochastic is up in over 80%, especially when it's close to 90. So yes, this is the first time Treat it as a trade because that monthly trade is just horrible. And the weekly trade, I can't even put a rectangle in because it's made a lower low. So it's just it's like a starter position. First Trust National Gas ETF. So that's the way I would deal with it. And you know that things can happen overnight in anything that has to do with commodities. Be prepared. Um, uh, the Fed is that guy? Okay, so a couple of questions here. That's just internal uh, questions and answers in the den. Um, so here, here are a couple of things that I wanted to talk about. The reason why, you know, it's always a big deal. Uh, people say, you know, all I had to do was buy at any time from nineteen, uh, from two thousand and nine, ten. 11, I could have just bought the Dow at the high every year. It just wouldn't have mattered. And all I, I'd be able to go to sleep at night. I'd have such a big profit. In the real world, when you're doing technical analysis, you have to deal with the technicals. I mean, look at that decline. 
from last December's high of 26,900s down to the 21,700s. Um, you could say, ah, oh, you know, big deal. It, it was a big deal. That was a pretty big pullback. So, yes, if you got in early, you could do that. So my contention has been for a long time that just in terms of long-term investments, holding a long position in an ETF that is like a Dow or the S&P, I've, I've said it for ages, for college funds, for long-term, I am anticipating some kind of a top in the market that is going to be unlike anything we've ever seen. After all, if everything else we've seen right now has been unlike anything we've ever seen, even the president's action is different to most presidents we've had, we've got to expect that when this market blows up, it's going to do that in a way that is different to anything we've ever had before. And my suspicion is that it'll be a worldwide phenomenon is it in this cycle? Is this the coda phase that I'm talking about? Well, I, who, who, can, who knows? But you can only make assumptions based on historical perspective, current perspective, relationships to the two, and what differentiates them so that you've got to prepare for out, 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 outsiders, um, outlandish, um, outer range, Actions. It's just got you've got to keep it that way. So I am anticipating that at some point the millennials, all the old folks, all the folks, uh, all the folks that from from um, uh, my era that uh, from 2008 2009, people I play tennis with or I congregate with, who are talking about. Um, shaking their heads about the stock market and got out at the lows and barely have got back in and did put money in. Most, a lot of people I know put money into real estate because they could do that and they could do it through the kids so they could secure the kids' futures. So they've taken a big chunk of their money and they've put it elsewhere, but not into stocks. Nobody, when I was at the meeting last, uh, this past week and I asked everyone there, we had quite a very nice turnout, especially since it was lousy weather, I, I said, how many people in the last, doesn't matter, let's just say in the last month, or in the last two or three months, how many people have come up to you and said, geez, did I make a killing last week? I got the stock, the high, a hot stock. Not a single person put their hands up. there. When I asked how many people have actually even mentioned the stock market to you in any con any time you meet, I'm not talking about people where you deal with all the time, talking about stocks. I'm talking about friends, people, family, that you just, you meet and you start talking, they talk red stocks, they talk things, and then they'll talk stocks. One person put up the hand. Nobody is talking stock market. All time highs today. And what will be on the front page? There'll be impeachment news, there'll be, you're lucky even to see some China news. It's almost reluctance uh, for the media to talk about the, to talk about this. You will hardly see a mention about all-time highs. That is an impossibility. I've never seen major tops being formed under the current conditions. I've just never seen it. And I've been around a while. I've seen a lot of stock market tops. When I left South Africa uh, to come and study here in the United States, I left and had to sell some stock uh, that I, you know, my father and I used to play the market a little bit. Um, I was very young, but we did that. Um, it was at the top. I was lucky. I got out right at the top. And um, I, I've seen tops, and it's where everybody's talking about it. The top in the real estate market here in the, in the, in the, in the Boston area, the Northeast, certainly in the Boston area, I remember going to um, the bank to get a, a deposit, you know, either deposit or get money out or do some transaction at the, at the machine or at the teller. And there were people on this, young people and older people on their cell phones talking and saying, I, I can't speak right now. I'm waiting for my, the mortgage. Uh, everywhere you went, people were talking about real estate. That's how tops are made. Everywhere you went. I even have friends whose who's, uh, sons and daughters were involved in the um, cannabis phase back in December, exactly two years. Was it two years ago? 
a year ago, I can't even remember. Yeah, well, let me just see MJ. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Yeah, that was last year. Wait a minute. What was the high? There, uh, September of 2018, MJ. Oh, 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 that's right. That's the cannabis. That was September. That was September of 2018, la last year. It was the uh, GBT, GBTC. I'm sorry. It was GBTC, December of uh, two years ago, two, December of 2017. 38.71 was the all time high in December. Do you know anybody who wasn't talking about Bitcoin? Do you know anybody who wasn't talking about the marijuana stocks when they made their top? No. Silence. This is the quietest mega bull market in history. So I don't think we've made anything like the major top. But we could be making a top in January. I'll be back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. We're going to go to Greg in Austin, Texas. Hi, Greg. How are you? Hi, Basil. I'm well. How are you? I'm good. You'd like good. to look at Fannie Mae, right? This is uh, Federal That's, National yeah. Mortgage. FNMA trading at three dollars and thirty-five cents, up ten cents. Can I just ask you: Are you in the position at all right now? I am. Okay. And you... uh, so, uh, you know, I, I usually call you when I'm I'm thinking about protecting profits. So, my my question on this one is: It seems, and you've talked in the past about <clears throat> stocks. You know that they just each day they just 
make those little candles up, 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 up. Yes. And I'm wondering if maybe this might be one of those. Okay, so those are the ones I call screamers. I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but first, let's get to this one, A, B, and this is a screamer. Folks, this this is the one of the craziest looking charts uh, you can see because it has really long wicks. It, the wick itself sometimes um, on a weekly or especially a monthly basis means that it's like a VIX index, but intra, intra week or whatever whatever the time frame is, it can have a huge move up and then close all the way at the bottom. Mostly it closes at the bottom rather than at the top when it has the long wick. But at the same time, the profits from a stock that was once at 0.98 under a dollar that can scream into the fours, hey, that's a screamer. That means you've got a stock that has the potential to um, move up now. What do, what do I mean by a screamer? If you look at the low that was made, the initial low that was made on the uh, 20th of November at $2.51, within three days it goes to $3.07. That's a big, big percentage profit. Well, wait a minute. It comes all the way back down to $2.58. That's a huge loss. But wait a minute. It has a green candle on the 20 uh, on the 3rd of December and then it has a higher high green candle the next day higher high green candle the next day that's number 2 higher high the third day it has a higher much higher green candle oh wait a minute it on the 4th the 5th the 6th the 7th today's the 8th day and it's still in leg B it started to be um, not from the bottom at $2.58, but the moment it crossed by one penny, the 307 high of the 22nd. So now I need to ask you, are you in it at a lower price, a much lower price, or? Yeah, I'm, I'm in it at uh, 273 You see, that kind of cushion is, uh, well, first of all, congratulations. Are you Thank in you. it before the big pullback or after the big pullback? No, I just uh, after the pullback. Okay, good. So now what you're looking at is that the weekly chart has a nice green candle. The day is young. It's only 12.35, uh, 12.33 actually. Um, on Friday the 13th, we've got all the way three hours and 27 minutes or something to the close. Anything can happen, especially in this market. Right. But what's really interesting about this and now, and I don't see it on my list, of percentage movers today, even though it's up 3% at 335 point, uh, 3.35, up 10 cents. And the, the what I do use uh, is showing me, uh, let me just get to it. Unfortunately, then I'll, I'll block out. Okay, there it is. So I've got one with 308, that's EXTR, that's up, PNNT is up only 0.15, up 4% is TAC. So I've got a list here of stocks that are conditions that I look for that I mentioned in my uh, trader's corner for my newsletter that we look for, I call them screamers. And they just keep, you're afraid to get in because you say, good grief, uh, mm -hmm. if I get in now, it's got to pull back. And because it's a small, it's a low price stock, a pullback at $3.34, look, it's just dropped two cents and it's gone from 3.04% to only only up 2.77%. So percentage-wise, you're playing a dangerous game. I don't. You're treating this as a trade, or you think that this is a position that has the legs. The one that that yeah, going up to the uh, August high uh, was that August in October? No, the one that went into the uh, October high, uh, September September high of $4.23. You would like to hold it, or you're just going to get out if you get a percentage. What, what's the plan? Well, you know, it's kind of changed because I thought that it was going to have a really difficult time getting through that 313. There was a lot of resistance at 313. And I thought, well, exactly right. I'm just going to do what Basil says. If the price, you know, if it moves through on price, hey, I'm just going to hold on to it. And so, yeah. sure enough, man, it moved right through on price. And so it went now, right through it. The and next the MACD. And the MACD is really strong in the daily. The stochastic is at 97.88%. I mean, you get you barely can get stronger than that. The 120-minute chart is just walking the 9 EMA, and it says we're getting yes. just to a point here where it have, could have a little bit of a pullback. So here's my, the plan. If you have mm -hmm. enough, 
why didn't you write here at 331, just take a little bit off to congratulate yourself and say, hey, Friday the 13th was a lucky day for me. I've got a percentage bigger than I anticipated. So what you're doing is you, you are scalping in a way. And now what you can mm -hmm. do is say that that portion that I've got allows me to have a little bit bigger stop and I might put this back since it's only in leg B and it does have a, before it's had a history of failing at B, this looks like it's going to hold. And I would just say to you, um, at three dollars, it's a 3.33 and these things do move quickly. This little bit that you take off right here at about 3.33, you can put back at about 3.20, between 3.24 and 3.19. But this one now has a new stop and that stop will be whatever you do, put in a stop of one and a half percent, something like that. So you're giving back very little in percentages, but you have a chance now to increase what you took off from 333 with a nice profit and that profit you can use once again. You want to build a cushion in this kind of stock. You want to build a cushion for adding, subtracting, and trying to keep your core as long as possible. Now the core, mm -hmm. I'm going to say your core should not lose money no matter what happens. So make right. a profit, give yourself a few cents or whatever it is, as absolutely very strict as the core. Then within that, split up a portion that says, if it drops to $3 and say 17 cents, in other words, towards the middle of yesterday's candle, you can light, you can light, you, that means you've probably, if it's quick, you're not going to be adding because it'll be so quick. But if you've already added that trading position, that trading position must not take a loss at all if it makes more than three or four cents. That's the rule with the trading, the part you take off, when you put it back, it's got like zero tolerance. It's just okay. got to work when you put it back. But the call yeah. right now, I'm going to say fabulous. I think that this is in the FNMA, Fannie Mae, trading at 333. I think this is trying to establish at least a short, short, and if I say intermediate term, I'm talking about a trading intermediate term, which would be three to four, maybe five weeks. I think it's trying to establish some position that's trying to turn the whole $3.05 $2.84 area into a really strong cushion. So that's that's what I'm going to say. But uh, you know what I'm going to ask you to do? If you have a chance, let's speak again next week, maybe Monday or Tuesday. I'm going to put this on my list. But so far, it's acting exactly like the screamer stocks. And what happens with them is when they come off, people's, uh, uh, um, people have been trading it. When they come off, it's no more than two, three days later, and they suddenly come back on the list. So I think this is showing okay. really good potential. Hey, congratulations. I really think that's Thank a fabulous you, position. Thank you for calling. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from 30000 to 75000 the interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. What should you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom 
Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting tfnn.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Uh, yeah, I had a couple of questions during the break, but you know what? I'd like to just show you. Let's see, TAC is up. Uh, whatever it is, TAC is Transalta Corporation. It's up 27 cents at $6.86, up 4.10. These percentage gains are really big. So uh, I have a, uh, on my, my, for my subscribers to my opening call, I have a section that I call Screamers. Uh, I, uh, the process is one that if, it's sort of a personal thing that you want to be able to watch and do, but I'm trying to be able to notate it for subscribers. Uh, I'd say buy within the first 10 minutes so you don't do it all, or buy before it hits a particular high. If it goes to leg D before, uh, in the first five minutes, you don't want to buy it, but if it doesn't and it pulls back, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of words. I try to comprehense, uh, be as comprehensive as possible. So this one would have been a tough one. Lousy action yesterday. I'm sure I wouldn't have put it on this particular one. But uh, there's another one here that I've had on my list, uh, PNNT, whatever it is, it is, Pennant Investment Corporation. Look at this screamer, A, B, and look at this leg, C. And the whole thing about this, these are very low price stocks. It's only up two cents, but that's 0.30%. But look, peak A right there. And look, peak B. Big leg, then it pulls back, and within a couple of bars, it starts leg C. The moment it goes one penny above B, goes right through the 200 period moving average, green, 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 and all of a sudden goes to red. And you think, oh my God, this is it. The next thing you know, because it's on a list that people must be watching, uh, as soon as it pulls back, bam, it goes up again. So intraday it could have a, a rest. And then all of a sudden, and look at the weekly charts, always the leg, single leg A, a massive leg A. Uh, so there are a lot of these stocks, LMPX, this is LM, oh no, I think this one is much higher price. Uh, oh, not LPX, LMPX. Nope. LMPX. There it is. Have a look at this. This is an IPO. It's called LMP Automotive. Automotive? What do they make? New batteries that you don't need batteries for? I don't know what they do. It go, comes out as an IPO at right here about a week ago on the 5th. It comes out, at, at the low is 490, opens at round number five, has a high of 543. I saw it go across the ticker, I think it was. I don't have a ticker in my office, but I, I was looking at it uh, on the TV. Um, and lo and behold, I said, hey, what is this thing? It's up so big. And on this doji candle on the 11th, I was about to put it into my uh, trader's corner, and I thought, you know, IPO, are you kidding? Anything can happen. But this is really good action. And it closed um, in the 12 area. Uh, no, it was in, at 12.70. It closed at 15.38. And I look, and I see a doji candle. I thought, could I, where would I? Well, I would not have got it because it closed 
at 15.38, but I sometimes I'll take it right as it opens with a, a two penny gap up. I don't mind that. Sometimes it looks to me like I need to be cautious. So I'll say have a little bit of a pullback. So I would have said closing at $15 and yeah, closing at this one right here. So that was the 13th. That was the one that we gapped up. So it closes at $41. And I thought, $41? I was looking at this thing just the other day in the 12 area. What would I do? I would have said, if you're going to buy it, you've got to buy it in a pullback. Somewhere around 14, no, 14. Uh, how could that be 41? No, that's $15. I'm looking at something else. It can't be. Yeah, $15.38. I would have said buy it under $15. i am pretty sure under $15. Well, you know what the, the low was? It opens at 17, round number, pulls back to 16.23, closes at 22.25. The high is 22.95. So that comes to today. So I had it on my list yesterday, not my list for my subscribers, my own personal list to look at. And today I would have said, uh, you know, if it's going to do, it's either going to gap up immediately and push higher, or if it pulls back the way it closed yesterday at 22.25, having hit 22.95, probably I want to get it down closer to 21. Well, it turns out that the low today was 20.01. I didn't put it on, but it is trading at 20, at up 20.20, 20, up 90% at 42.45. These are the screamers. So each day you say it's impossible, it can't go higher, but they go higher. And, and very often it's in D, leg D, the one that you think is going to be the pullback. These are the screamers. Now, you tell me, look at this weekly chart and look at this monthly chart. The month has opened with a low of $4.90, and it has a high today so far of round number 44. I love these round numbers on these IPOs. So I have that. It's a little bit of fun uh, because I have very tight stops, 1%, 1.5%. You're either going to get this, bam, and it works, and it's fantastic, or you're just going to step aside and say, wow, look at that, but I missed it. Or you're going to say, look at that, look at that plunge. Thank goodness I only had a one and a half point stop. So, or one and a half percent, sorry, one and a half percent stop. But when they work, uh, you know, taking one and a half percent stop uh, on a stock that uh, does an 88, 90 percent gain, well, that doesn't happen more than once a year or something like that. But this is, it's unusual, right? So, uh, so when, uh, Greg was talking about uh, Fannie Mae. I'm saying Fannie Mae. Every day you would have said, especially with Fannie Mae, come on, you would have said, it's got to pull back. No, higher highs and higher lows every single day, every single day since the low was made on the 3rd of December at $2.58. Doesn't sound like a lot because it's at 3.33, but why don't you say the stock that's trading at 20 um, <clears throat> Stock that's trading at $25.80 has just hit $33.70. Now it sounds a little different, huh? And let's do it this way. A stock that was trading at 258 is now trading at 333 having hit 337 So just the percentage is the same, just the dollar amount changes. So... I love these things, but I don't want to get uh, detracted with my subscribers. If I can't do it, I can't do it. I'll do it whenever it's possible. And when it works, it, it worked. we had one that had a real quick gain of 4.5 percent. By the time we got it, it was about 2.6 percent, but it was like in a day. So, um, yeah, and you can also lose that very quickly in a day. So I'm not, I'm not, this has got nothing to do with showing, uh, what really works, it shows what can work and what cannot work. But if it works, it's just a nice way to look at it. So uh, in the den, I just want to show you KC. This is coffee, leg D. Remember, we were talking about this leg D every day. It looked like it was about to uh, go to a, a top. And I drew in the rectangle yesterday. I said coffee is really close to an all-time high, uh, not an all-time high, to at least in this phase, to some kind of a high. And I went to my uh, automated Chapman Wave notation. There was nothing there. It broke right out. 
Then in the 120 minute chart, it showed 139.90. Today it did 140.30, trading right now at 131.65. But that's, it's, it's still a leg D. It doesn't become a peak D until the very next bar has a lower high. So the high today is 140.30. I'll be right back. Last segment coming up. I'll try to get to some of the some of the questions as well. Basil Trap. Oh, don't forget the Tiger dollar sale. It's right on the front page of TFNF. Fabulous, fabulous discounts on your purchase of the Tiger dollars. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. Just real quickly, a whole bunch of things. I had, uh, yes, uh, questions about the IYR and the transports, the XNL. I'll try to get to that in a moment. But uh, Z in the Den has posted here um, Fannie Mae, 3.32 lost, uh, researching the privatiza privatization planning. Treasury unveils plan to privatize Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Trump administration has unveiled its plan for ending government control of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, with two giant mortgage finance companies that nearly collapsed in the financial crisis 11 years ago and were bailed out at a total cost to taxpayers of only, only $187 billion. Um, so, you know, I always worry some about these things. What happens if the private companies go insolvent? I, then, then that's it. And this is Fannie Mae. This is not like you're talking about, uh, you know, the other things that people know what the risk is. Most people wouldn't even know that there's a risk. Anyway, so TRCC, Thomson Reuters Equal Weight Commodity Index. I mentioned this earlier in the week. And it looks like it's starting to move, and it's moved really nice. It's had a big move up to the 200 period moving average, which is at 416. Today's high is 415.70. And now it's making a legacy with, at, at the low, a huge candle turnaround. 
But the MACD is good, the stochastic is good. So I think that the commodities are starting to move quite nicely, certain commodities, and it's shown up here in this equal weighted commodity index. Uh, IY, IYT, I, I won't do the XL. IYT is just stuck in the lower part of the range. IYR could have had a rally because of the yields, and then it did. And then it failed. It made a dreaded H pattern in both the daily and the weekly chart. That's the REITs, Dow Jones REITs. This is telling you about now money's coming out of the sector. It was the winner right up until uh, October, November. And then now it's not looking good at all. Um, question I had about, oh, can I get to it? Can I get to it? Yeah, Fannie Mae, let's see. Uh, sorry, uh, Fang. Um, I've got a top, short term top in uh, Facebook. Uh, Goog, let's have a good look at Goog. Uh, Google is uh, at high, so this is still looking very good, and it's holding very nicely. Amazon season is just about to end in another couple of weeks, and here it is at uh, recent lows. It's just not doing very well. And Netflix, uh, just before we wrap up, we've got Steve Rose coming up. We've got uh, Dave White and Tom O'Brien. Go to the front page of TFN and be able to check out the Tiger t Dollars and my opening call. It's called The Opening Call, my daily newsletter, and I think you'll find it very helpful, hopefully. Um, I'll be back on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. See you soon.